Now we're going to be talking about um, increasing, decreasing, and constant functions. And so we have um, some definitions here that we need to go through. This first one says a function f is increasing on an open interval i if for any choice of x1 and x2 in i with x1 less than x2 we have f of x1 less than f of x2. Right now I know that that sounds uh, kind of strange but we can break it down and look and see exactly what it's talking about. Here we have a picture of an increasing function and it does exactly what you think it will. Increasing meaning it, it goes up or it you know gets larger. Okay well in their definition they talked about it increasing in an open interval i. So here, you know, this this graph may have done other things on the other sides of here, but we're just looking from here to here. That is the interval of where we're looking at, just between these two x values. Okay, now it says it is um, increasing in that interval if for any choice of x1 and x2, in other words, if we choose any two x values we want to, and it says with x1 less than x2, meaning the x1 is smaller than the x2, or to the left. Remember, smaller can also mean to the left of. Now, if that's true, then it says the f of x1 has to be smaller than the f of x2. Well, again, remember, f of x is just a fancy way of saying y. So we're saying the y that goes with the x1 has to be smaller than the y that goes with the x2. Well, the y that goes with this first x would be right here. So that would be put it at this point. The y value that goes with this x would put it at this point right here. Our first y value is smaller than our second y value here. Therefore, this is an increasing function. That's what the definition is telling us. Now the next definition says a function is decreasing on an open interval i if for any choice of x1 and x2 in i with x1 less than x2 we have f of x1 greater than f of x2. So again, here's our picture of our decreasing function. It really is exactly what you think it would be. Decreasing meaning going down or getting smaller. So we've chosen two x values here in within that little section of the graph. And if we look at the y value that goes with it, this would be the y, the first y, and this would be our second y. And maybe I should write that technically as a point, like x1, y1, and x2, y2. Well, our y1 in this case is bigger than our y2. That's what this is talking about. If the first y value is larger than the second, then it has to be going down between those two points. Finally, we have a function f is constant on an interval i if for it, all choices of x in i the values of f of x or rather saying the y values are all equal. So here we have a picture of a constant function and it doesn't matter what two x's I choose in here, any x's at all, their y values are the exact same thing no matter what we're doing. That tells us that, that is constant or a, um, a horizontal line.